Hi guys and uh, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing an unboxing video of my new iPhone 8. Um, so I've been, I did, what did I have? I had the 6. You had the 6. I had a 6 which I broke and You dropped it in the toilet and the bath. And the bath. And so my punishment was to go back to a 5 and not get a new phone until the release. Very, well, very hang, hang on, you went to a 5S, which yes. you broke that one. Yeah. <laughs> so then you went to a 5C. So I've been running off a 5C. A second so hand 5C. A second hand 5C. So I'm desperately waiting for the 8. I would have loved the 10, but I wasn't going to wait that much longer and I wasn't going to pay that much extra. So I ordered the iPhone 8 in the gold color, uh, 64. Gig? Is that right? Gig? Yeah. <laughs> gig, 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 gig. <laughs> okay. Um, and it came yesterday, which was day one of release, which has like never happened to me. I only pre-ordered like what, a week ago? And I got day the first the day. Open. So excited. Um, so yeah, we just thought we'd run you through uh, a little unboxing video and talk about, yeah, the iPhone 8. So if you're interested, keep watching. Packaging, it's like the standard Apple packaging, but it's very cute. It's actually got a pink tinge to it. When I ordered it originally, I didn't realize how like pink tone the gold was. It's sort of a blend between the rose gold and the gold, um, which is really nice. I think it's really, really cute. It's very on trend. But yeah, the packaging has definitely got a pink touch to it there like the you can see in the shimmer that it's got the pink shine um so yeah it's really cool it's, i don't know you can feel like a little lip on the iphone it's just yeah it's really cute packaging definitely the apple matte finish um and then you get all that stuff which you give to the husband because you don't what you know mean? what it is it's the cool stuff in here <laughs> see yeah, the stickers who has a sticker on their phone well it's not for your phone necessarily where do you put it anywhere Put it on the car, his computer. It's the same stickers that have been sent with every Apple I've product for the last 10 years. I've never seen one of those. Because I always give them I reckon we could get your own old box out and there'll be those <laughs> stickers in there too. Probably. But yeah, obviously, that's all the paperwork, which is just like, meh. Then, here is the phone. It's so pretty. Um, firstly, straight away, obviously, you can notice the glass back. It's very cool. I, I have had to play with it. Um, um, so I can give you guys a bit of a review. But yeah, obviously, you've got your AirPods. 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 <laughs> AirPods. I wish there were the AirPods. AirPods um, and your standing charger. Um, and yeah, obviously, the phone. Um, so I'll try and show you there. There's the glass. Back and the color and yeah so hopefully you can see that color like quite true it's very nice the glass is different how rude Josh why are you calling me I'm gonna have to ignore your call sorry sorry I can't talk right now <gasps> I'll explain later okay <laughs> so um, yeah so Firstly, yeah, the color, uh, the glass back is definitely like, I reckon one of the coolest features. Like, I don't know, I'm gonna cover it with a case, obviously, but um, it's very nice. Is he calling you now? No, no. Okay. Um, I thought I'd just sort of compare oh, the back to okay. uh, the iPhone 7. Yeah, and they said that they did fingerprint testing on it. Like, uh, I've been using it a lot, and it really doesn't print much, or you can't really see the prints that much. Like, I would thought that. The glass would be terrible, but it's really not like I've been touching that object. Bit. It's, it's nothing terrible. And yeah, just little things like does yours have the little like I think maybe it's more noticeable because it's rose gold, but it's got like the little rose gold around the camera. So it's really nice looking. So yeah. I'm very happy with the look of it. It feels quite similar in weight. I thought maybe it was a teeny bit heavier. Um, yeah, 
than the 7. It feels just like a slight bit heavier. Um, like sort of same thickness, same screen same size, size, same size. Um, which is kind of good because you can use all the cases and stuff from the 7. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what I thought about the first impressions of the phone itself. Uh, yeah, I really like it's a little bit heavier. It is 10 grams heavier. Yeah. So teeny tiny bit heavier, nothing really noticeable. Um, but yeah, it's obviously from what I was going to, it seems like a lot bigger. I'm like trying to type and I'm like, ooh, stretching my fingers. Um, but that's just because I've been used to such a smaller phone. But yeah, so that's what I think. I think going, we'll go through the specs. James will go through some of the specs with you. I think if you had the 7, you wouldn't necessarily need to get the 8. It's not that different. I don't think it's worth the extra money to get it. But if you're going from an older phone, of course, it's definitely worth it. Um, so yeah. I suppose one thing I've liked, when T stops playing with it. Sorry. I suppose how well the glass back um, does mold with it. the yeah. plastic. Um, not the plastic, the metal. It's, There's no sharp edges. Or yeah, yeah. It's, it's like rounded. Like any Apple product, it's well, well finished. Made, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, as T was sort of saying, the difference between the 7 and the 8, it's... I suppose, I know when I was at work yesterday, everyone's like, oh, so you're going to go home and play with T's iPhone? It's sort of... My phone. But of course, the tech guy has to play with the phone. Yes. Yeah. But I sort of got home and was like, okay, it's an iPhone, it's an iPhone 8. Yeah. 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 It's, it's not that much different from... No. Phone. No. So, you know, unless you're due for a replacement... Um, You'd wait for the 10. Wait like for the 10 or... Like, you would have waited for the 10, personally. Yeah, yeah, because I've got the 7, there's yeah. not too much difference. Well, it's both got Touch ID, mm. right? Both have Touch ID. The home this there. one's, the, uh, the 8's got a faster chip on the processor. That comes, that's normal it's with standard. every new generation yeah. phone. I suppose the big thing that this has that 7 doesn't is, of course, a wireless charger. Yeah! I can't wait to get a wireless charger. Probably we for don't my have birthday, a right? Sure. Well, sounds like a cheap birthday present. Are they cheap? You can get a wireless charger. You, they vary in okay, quality well and price. Okay, well then and perfume and all that sort of stuff. You, you're starting off a charger for $10. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So when it's a wireless, I just like stick it on there. You just sit it down. And it the starts. wireless thing doesn't have to plug in anyway. No plugs. Obviously, because it's wireless. Uh, you just sit it on the charger. So you mat. can take it with you in the car to work if you're like... Nothing happens to your phone. Your phone stays exactly. You could take the charger. You could take the charger like somewhere. in your car, so you can charge it. If you've got to go somewhere and your phone's dead, you can just... Or yeah. Yeah, you or like take it to work. If you can get like wireless charger mounts for your car. Oh, okay. So like your normal iPhone mounts or your phone mounts in the car, you can get one that's a wireless charger. one as well. So when you put your okay. phone in there, no cables to plug in, it just That's cool, charging. because they, I find in the car they're terrible. Yeah, and... Like, I suppose if you're a household that has many different devices, it's really good. A lot of the newer phones have the same wireless standard, so if someone's got an iPhone, someone's got an Android, or a Samsung, yeah. it'll charge both of them. So. That's cool. Yeah, I'd be excited to see how the charging goes. So, so I'll be a little bit jealous about that one. <laughs> the small size on the 8 is 64 gig, and you can get a 256 as well. Which is a bit different to the iPhone 7, which is 32 gig and 128 gig. 128, yeah. So it's essentially doubled in capacity for yep. storage. Which is good because I was constantly running out of storage, like... On your 16 gig. On my 16 <laughs> gig was terrible. So I have a lot of space now, I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, most of the other stuff is quite similar. It is on. And look, oh, it's my background. Uh, I like to keep my apps very clean, guys. Um, but there were some changes with the photos, right? With um, live photos. So that's with the iOS 11? No, not with the phone. Not with the phone. So, so you can do it. I can do it too, yeah. Oh, that's so shit. All the, all the new Apple device, or you know, within the last four years, um, with the iOS 11, you can now edit live photos. So I know it happens <laughs> all the time to me. And... You know, you take a photo, but it's the wrong yeah. moment. Someone's closed their eyes. Oh, I did that the other day with the girls. I had a perfect one the other day when we were at the park with my sisters, and they'll all sit in. My sisters and Noah were sitting on a bench, yeah. 
As I took the photo, Noah jumped off the bench. Until his eyes were closed. And Matilda's eyes were closed. So as now with iOS 11, I could edit it. And Noah's get... actually sitting on the bench. Everyone's got their eyes open. And we could keep the photo. It's so was, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good feature. So this is a live photo I took today of Noah at swim class and I was trying to get him coming out of the water but I like did it maybe slightly too late. So that's the live photo there. So if you just click up here and go edit, you can then drag it across to um, what you want your still to be. So you could get it like there. Oh that's cute. See like that wasn't even in there. Like that yeah, was the photo one. there. So like you could either Slip that or like him coming up. And then you just make key photo. Mm hmm And then click done. Done. Yeah, that's so cool. So it's waterproof, which is different for me. Because I've lost all my phones to water guys. Every single yes. one. So I'm very excited that if I accidentally plop her in the bath. <laughs> Still need to be careful. Of course, but you know. I think the standards, which is IP67 for water and dustproof, does really mean 30 seconds at most in a metre of water. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Well, 30 seconds is a long time when you think about it. Yeah, well, I guess you kind of panic. But yeah. But I mean, it's better than no seconds. Yes. Because no seconds you realise what happened with your last phone. Phones. Phones. Multiple. Yeah, has there been a phone? When was the last time you had a phone that you didn't drop in the water? I don't think I have had one. <laughs> this one. I owned it for one day. No, well, my next punishment should be is to get an Android. No, because then it's be just... I wouldn't be able to survive. I'd be asking you too many questions. For me too. Yes, that's true. Um, so the other thing I suppose that the iPhone 8 has, that the 7 doesn't, okay. is the display is now True Tone Display. What does that mean? It means that the colours are true. Right? Can't doesn't that adjust to where you are? <coughs> yes. So if you're out somewhere where it's really sunny... So at the everything... moment you've got the ambient light sensor, so just the brightness is of the this screen. One here? Yeah. Because your one doesn't have that. No, it is, but it's just hidden, you can't see it on the black. Oh. So it's the, it's the ambient brightness that the screen will get lighter and darker, which your phones will do that so now. Yeah. They already do that now, but what the true tone does, it is also changes the tone. So if it's gone, if it's making the screen a bit darker, it'll make the oranges a bit yeah. brighter. Okay. So, they so sort it's of, more. So it's more reflective correct. of what it should be. Yeah. So it's got 3D touch, which your 5C didn't, but. Most all the new iPhones have that now, where you yeah. can force the touch down on certain icons to get to the extra actions. Okay. Like extra menus and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. So on the messages one, you can hold down on the messages app and it'll let you send a text message from your most recent. Yeah. Well, that's cool. So I suppose I've briefly touched on it before, but the CPU, the A11 Bionic CPU, which has four, with four efficiency cores that are 70% faster than the A10. So in theory, it's your okay. phone is 70, the iPhone 8 70% faster than the iPhone 7. Wow. And yeah. two performance cores are 25% faster. And the camera is better, didn't you say? A little bit better. Yeah, so it's still a 12 megapixel camera, but I believe they've done some modifications to enhance the pixels and... To make them better. It looks a lot clearer, especially from what I was going on, it was terrible. Yes. Terrible for photos. Yes. So, and um, yeah, I'm obviously, I'm on social media a lot, so I'm really glad that I have, like, that'll be in itself, like, really good for me. Yeah. So with iOS 11, I suppose you also now get the augmented reality features, which I know you haven't really looked at, and... I suppose it's still early days, but there's a few games where you can actually play multiplayer games. Like, um, you battle against each other, but you play it on the table in front of you. So you hold your phone as your screen, and you'll so be looking like at the table. Kind of, 
Oh, like that thing you did the other day. Yeah. And you you like projected it. Yeah. Onto the table. Yeah. Kind so of. you can look around the environment with holding your phone. So if you you're looking at your screen like this, you actually move around to see certain items. Okay. Um, you know that's it means there's some room measurement things, and I'm seeing some apps like IKEA. Mm -hmm. So because it knows it's a it can do very smart calculations on working out dimensions, potentially you could go to the IKEA app, go, I want to buy that couch. Will it fit, how, in, will it fit in my house, <gasps> what it will look like? Oh my God, how helpful would that have been when we were doing this house? Yeah. Oh my goodness, we had this program and we were drawing it all up and James like put like shoes in my closet and stuff like that. So nice. That so will you be using Apple Pay now as well? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe. I use it all the time. I think people think it's weird. See, I, I about six to twelve months ago, people would look at you and just be like, What are you doing? What are you doing? Or like, ask for your card. Yeah, whereas now, it's most places I go, they're just like, Oh yeah, he's playing with his phone. It's normal. It's normal? It's, Other people do it? Do you guys do it? Please comment that. Well, that see, that's it. interesting because I know... I've never seen someone else do it. When we're talking, I suppose, if you're in the States, wireless payments isn't that popular. Like, I know from people I've heard, there's certain places they know where they can go where they can use Apple Pay. Yeah. Whereas for here, us here, if there's somewhere that doesn't have Apple Pay, that's weird. So, yeah, that's our little unboxing of the iPhone 8. Um, like we said, not much different, but um, yeah, huge for me. So I'm very excited and yeah, it looks great. So we'll show you a couple of close-up shots anyway. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!